today's video, I'll be showing you exactly how to sort FBA deals using Profitool and Deal Finder. So welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you just how easy it is to use Profitool and Deal Finder to find your FBA deals. I'll be running you through both sides of Profitool and I'll also be trying to find some FBA deals live so you can get a taste of how it all works. So let's get started. So here I am on the Profitool website and I'm just gonna log into my account up here and we'll just head over to the track page. So this is our deal analyzer. Now, most people use our Chrome extension or our mobile app, but you can also use it on our website as well. But I'll just show you on the Chrome extension and just run you through all the data points so you get an understanding of how it all works. So you get all the key information you need to analyze your FBA deals, um, the estimated monthly sales, um, the reviews on the product, your FBA fees, referral fees, um, estimated VAT, the break-even point, return on investment percentage, your estimated profit per unit, the sales rank on Amazon, you get three price graph options. So there's a 90 day, 180 day, and a 365 day price graph. The number of other FBA sellers, um, the number of, Am if Amazon are on the listing, how many FBM sellers, the lowest offers for each of them sellers. And you also get the warnings here. So IP risk, that's intellectual property. Risk just means that you may need to be a little bit careful about selling this brand. Hazmat, that just means it's in a danger, dangerous goods it might be something like with a lithium battery or nail varnish for example and then oversize as well and then just below you'll see the notes section so you can write notes give it a rating and then you can save your deal and then you can review review all your save scans just over here in your save scan section now this is better for retail arbitrage really so if you're going into shops and scanning your deals you may not want to buy your deals there and then you may want to go home and do some further analysis so with this it means you can write your notes down about the product and you can further analyze or try and find it elsewhere, for example. Now, all this data is exactly the same on our mobile app as well. So that's for um, retail arbitrage. The only difference is that you get a barcode scanner, whereas this is for online arbitrage. So on here, you get a search feature where you can use this on any website in the world. You can just search for the product. It means you haven't got to keep switching between Amazon or trying to find it elsewhere. You can literally use this on any website in the world. So now I'll show you how Deal Finder works. So if we just head over to the Deal Finder tab here. So what Deal Finder is, it's basically thousands of potential FBA deals in one central place. So what we was trying to achieve with this was put all available deals or all available potential deals in one central place on the internet. So you haven't got to go through B&Q and then home base and then Tesco and so on. All of these potential deals are on the internet in one central place. So the way it works is we scrape a huge amount of websites and we're looking for pricing differences. So if a product is £10 on Argus, for example, and that same product is £25 on Amazon, that will go and deal find it as a potential deal. So it's very important to remember that deal find it isn't a checked deal service. We don't check any of these deals. That's not what we're trying to achieve with this. They are all potential deals only, and it just saves you time having to switch between all these websites. Now we do an update on this twice a week, so it gets updated on Tuesdays and Fridays. It's currently Thursday today when I'm recording this video, so there'll be a, another one out tomorrow. And we put a notification in our Discord when it gets updated, it's usually in the afternoon. But let me get started of actually trying to find some FBA deals and then also using Profitool and how we'd analyze it as well. So I'm gonna do this as if I was a new FBA seller. Obviously a lot of these products I would be gated for, now, if you are new, um, being gated can hold you up quite a lot. Um, I have done a video in the past, which I'll just link in the corner of the screen, which shows how to get ungated. Um, getting ungated really does open up your FBAs. So obviously being gated, there's a, lo a lot of categories I'm gonna have to avoid, and a lot of brands I'm gonna have to avoid. Toys and games, always difficult when first starting out. A lot of them are gated. Um, health and personal care, grocery, most of these will be gated electronics as well. Um, pet, I always like to do, um, quite often can find some good deals in here. So if we head over to Pet, and I'll just firstly, before we start looking for deals, just show you all the good data you get. So you get linked to the Amazon image just here. Um, this is the name um, and the link to the product where you can buy it from. This one here is the Amazon name. Here is a link to the Amazon listing with the ASIN. This is the estimated monthly sales. This is the cost you'll be buying it for. This is the Amazon price, um, at the, this is all at the time of scraping. Obviously these can change slightly. This is your estimated profit per unit and this is the sales rank. Um, now, you can also export these as a CSV if you prefer to, to do them in CSV format, you can do that here just by clicking 
export CSV. But let's start looking for FBA deals. So um, Little Locker, I'm pretty sure that is an IP risk. So we'll just skip that one for now. But um, if we have a quick look at this one just here, so this Nature Vet um, Breath Aid is 70 um, soft shoes, buying it for 10 pounds on Amazon at the moment for £18.75. So what we're usually looking for is trying to get about double the price on these two prices. Um, so almost fair, £10 selling for £18.75. So let's load up the two products, or load up the um, purchase link and the Amazon link. Of course, it's £10.38 at the moment, so that's great. And it's currently selling on Amazon for £18.78, so that is great. So um, that looks really positive. So there's two ways to analyze the FBA deal. Um, we can either do it on the Profit website or we can use a Chrome extension. I'll just show you how both, both work. So if we click this scan button just here, and I'll just close the extension just here, you'll see it pre-fills the ASIN, pre-fills the price. So it's really easy to use. You just click calculate and just like that, just in a second, that will load up the data. Now I do prefer to use the Chrome extension personally, but obviously it's totally optional. I've just spend more time myself using the Chrome extension. Um, so I just like the way it works, but we'll just click calculate on the Chrome extension and we'll start analyzing it on here instead. So um, let's have a look at all the data. So the information um, we've got here, um, key information just here. Estimated monthly sales, we know that already 60 to 120 a month. Reviews, 2,500 reviews, three and, um, three and a half stars, so not the best, but that's absolutely fine. You know, Amazon FBA product sale, basically. Um, estimated FBA fee, £2.33. Estimated referral fee, £2.30. Estimated VAT, 93 pence. So the VAT here, that's the VAT on these two fees. Amazon don't display their that on the fee, so just bear that in mind. Break even point, so if we are buying this item for £10.23 with these fees, um, so the FBA fee, referral fee, and the VAT, we must sell this for £15.78 in order to get our money back. Now, return on investment, 29%. Um, this is perhaps um, a little bit low for us. Ideally, we'd want um, higher than that, but if you're a new seller and you're just trying to get the ball moving, then um, not the end of the world. The nice thing about this one is there's only one other FBA seller on the listing. Can't see any issues with IP risk or hazmat. Sometimes with one FBA seller, um, you might you just have to be a little bit careful, but um, by the looks of it, this one is fine. The FBA seller isn't linked to the brand. Um, we have to be careful just for um, private label products where you're not actually allowed to sell them, um, and then you'll get a violation on your account. So you just need to be a little bit careful. And then the key part of the data is this price graph just here. Um, and we use this for two reasons. Firstly, just to confirm it's selling. So we use this sales rank line here to confirm it's selling. Now, typically the drops indicate sales. Um, it's not an exact science. There's many things which affect it, but we can see from the movement in this line that this is selling plenty. Um, so nothing to worry about there. Obviously the lower the sales rank is as well, the more it's selling. And then the next line is the buy box line. So we mainly use this just to try and minimize our risk of getting undercut. Um, so over the last year, the average price is probably would average out about 18 pounds. Um, so that's absolutely fine. It's actually been selling for more. There has been a big drop there, but that doesn't look like anything to worry about. It looks like it was only for a day. Um, you know, since October last year, it's been selling, um, or since November last year, it's been selling for the same price it has been now. Has obviously been cheaper before. Because that was quite a while ago, I wouldn't be too concerned about that. But the profit isn't massive. However, for more experienced FBA sellers, it would definitely be worth sending in a few units um, for this because there is a high chance of um, you know, making good sales. We'd just match the buy box. We wouldn't try and beat this price, but just go for the same price as the current FBA seller. We wouldn't even try and compete with them. Okay, so we found one not too bad product. Um, we'll now head back over to Pets and see if we can find um, another one. And I've spotted actually this one, which looks quite good. B&M um, is always a good website. Um, the only downside with B&M is quite, you have to actually go in and buy the products um, from in store, but that's not the end of the world. You know, if you're in a town or anything like that, it's quite easy to do. And it means there's off, off, there can be less competition as well because not as many people want to be doing that. So B&M and Amazon will just load it up. So it's four pound on B&M. £11.31 on Amazon, so that's looking really positive. So then we'll just click scan, um, and we'll just use the um, Chrome extension again, like so. Cool, so 30 to 60 sales um, a month, um, 20 reviews, so probably a newer product. FBA fee, £2.33. Referral fee, £1.38, that is 74. Break even points, £8.46, which is good. And return investment, 71%, which is really, really good. Um, so that's really promising. Estimate profit per units, um, £2.85. Nine FBA sellers, so that is on the high side. What we would do is we would, um, in this on product like this, we'd just check how much stock the other FBA sellers have. Not a deal breaker, 
Um, obviously, you don't want to be competing with FBA sellers with a huge amount of stock because chances are they'll be buying it for cheaper, so they've got more room for movement and price, and they've got more online as well. Um, I have done a video in the past where I show how to um, check the stock level, so I'll just link that in the corner as well. But let's load up the price graph just here. So firstly, we can see that it's definitely selling. Sales are line, lots of movement. Not selling a huge amount, but definitely selling, which is great. Um, now the buy box line, we can see it has been cheaper. So it's gone through periods. It's probably been about nine pounds, um, nine pounds here, obviously at the higher end of its price range. But if we take an average along here, it's probably you know just above 11 pounds. So not bad whatsoever, has even been higher before. So on this type of product, we just match the buy box again and just, and just follow the lines. Use Amazon's free repricer just to set our base, probably about 11 pounds. Um, you know, you could go a little bit um, lower, obviously 71% ROI is really high. Um, ideally, you you know, 30% above, 30% 30 percent and above is great. So getting 71% is great. It means we have got movement to go down. So that is just two deals I found in the space of 10 minutes using Profitool and Deal Finder. Now, obviously I've been doing this for quite a while. So please don't think that it's always gonna be that easy. You know, the thing is about deal finding, it does take time to learn, you know, know the websites to look, the brands to look at, and so on. But as of anything, the more work you put in, the more persistent you are, the easier it becomes and the better results you have. So I hope you found that video helpful. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you're not already doing so. I'll be doing lots more videos like this, but I'll see you in the next one.